PhD is completely useless. My only hope was to become an adjunct faculty. I will not make any real money. I was so depressed. Now I am a business analyst at a Fortune 50 big company. Don't spend your time or money on non-essential skills. You could simply learn those three tools from YouTube for free. Hi everyone, my name is Ginny Wong. I just graduated from a doctor program in music and now I pivoted my career to business analytics and successfully got an offer to work at a Fortune 50 big company without any data related degrees. No matter if you're not sure about whether you should switch your career or you simply don't know how to start, I hope this video will help you because I want to share with you my whole journey step by step so that you could copy my success too. I'm going to talk about my background as a PhD student, how I made the decision to switch career, why data and business analytics, where to start, from unpaid intern to multiple Fortune 500 full-time job offers. And lastly, a secret tip for career switchers to stand out and shine. As a PhD student myself, I always heard people say, PhD is completely useless. It's just permanent hair damage. I can only stay in academia and because the job market here is so competitive, my only hope was to become an adjunct faculty or I will not make any real money ever. Etc. So many PhDs are looking to switch their career at some points, and trust me, I know your struggle. I was in the exact same shoes. I was so depressed because sometimes higher education is a cage. After so many years in the same domain, you're just simply too scared of switching your career, even if this is not what you want, both career wise and financial wise. My music journey started when I was five. I learned piano, went to a music high school, music college, and then I got my master's and doctor's degree all at top universities. And honestly, I started my career in music because my parents chose it for me. And I just followed whatever they want me to do. They wanted me to become a music professor. So I was in music all the way until DMA, which is essentially a PhD in music. And once I started looking for jobs, I realized how competitive the music academia environment is and the, how they are extremely underpaid. Extremely. As a traditional Asian kid who always followed what my family wants me to do instead of what I really want, when the first time I started to have this thought of switching my career, I was so scared. Especially after, I don't know, so many years in school for the same major. However, one belief that I have that support me to make this decision to switch my career is this. If I change my career now, I might feel like I've wasted 10 years in music. But if I continue my path in music academia and reach like 60 or 70 years old, I will regret spending 50 years in a career that I did not like at all. So it was summer 2022 when I just finished my second year of PhD, I made this decision to switch my career for a more hopeful life, a more visible career, a better financial situation, a less competitive job market, and most importantly, a happier myself. Who eventually made the decision the first time for myself after following the path that my family laid out for me. So now the decision is made, the next step is to figure out which career path I want to pursue. There are so many careers that people switch to, such as user experience researchers, software developer engineering, data scientists, data engineering, data analytics, or business analytics. After months of research, I decided to pursue data and business analytics due to four reasons. Firstly, data and business analytics is an area where I can use both data analytical skills and domain knowledge from my previous major. So all my degrees are not completely a waste of time. Secondly, I am naturally attracted to logical thinking and mathematical problems. Even as a music student, I got 168 on my GRE quantitative exam. 
Thirdly, there are so many transferable skills from my degrees, my TA experience that could help me to succeed in the business or data analytics industry because I'm really good at cross-functionally communicate with people from different backgrounds. And lastly, a higher salary than non-technical positions. If you just made the same decision I just made, you're probably very overwhelmed right now because where to start? There are so many online courses and before you pick one and spend your time and money, you really need to know the foundation of what entry-level business analysts do. It's a very simple pipeline. Step one, pulling data from a database. Step two, analyzing the data. And step three, visualizing the data and telling a story. Knowing this pipeline is extremely important because it is now very clear what we need to learn to prepare for an entry-level business analyst position. SQL Query to pull the data, Excel to analyze the data, Power BI and Tableau to visualize the data. Yes, it's just this simple. After learning SQL, Excel, and Power BI, you will have the full stack of skill sets that most entry-level positions need. These are the main tools that I use every single day. And honestly, as an entry-level business analyst, you don't even need to learn those complicated things such as machine learning, Python, or how to make higher level business decisions, etc. You will learn those as you work your way up at a higher level position. So to start with, don't waste your time or money on non-essential skills. You could simply learn those three tools on YouTube for free. Once you master those three tools, you will have a more clear idea of whether if you like being a data or business analyst or what you want to learn next, such as you might want to learn more about coding skills or you might want to learn more about how to make higher level business strategies and decisions. So you will pick your course and pay your money more wisely. Now you've learned the full stack skills of business analyst and what's next? The very common issue PhDs have would be, I'm not a college student anymore. I'm just too embarrassed to be an intern or doing unpaid volunteer. I just want to become a full-time employee at a fan company and start making money as an adult. I was at this stage too. I started with looking for a full-time job directly until I got rejections from all of them. Think from the employer shoes, why they hire you. You have no previous degrees, no experience, no internships. The only thing on your resume right now is all the skills that you list word by word, such as SQL and Excel, and those are not convincing at all. Here was where I really learned to let go of my ego and start with the very, very basic positions, such as doing projects on Catchfire for free and many unpaid interns and volunteers and projects. However, those positions and projects were the stairs that I laid for myself, and eventually they brought me to a Fortune 50 company internship after six months. Then six months later, not only I successfully converted my intern to a full-time business analyst, but I also received two other offers from Fortune 500 companies. So be prepared, let go of your ego, lay your own foundations as theirs, and trust that it will eventually take you to wherever you want to be. A common sense is that someone who switches career is at a disadvantage compared to those who has a degree from it. Trust me, it is not true. If you could not stand out from thousands of applicants, it's simply because you haven't found your advantage yet. As a career switcher, compared to those who only have data background or those who only have industry knowledge, you have both. You have both data analytical skills and your previous domain knowledge. For example, if you're like me, who were in music for so many years, compared to those who just have data analytical skills, I have both the data analytical skills as well as music and media and entertainment industry domain knowledge. So let's say if you're from a healthcare degree, maybe think about apply to positions in healthcare or biotech because this is a secret tip that could really help you to stand out. 
And this was also how I got my first two internship offers. Both of the offers are either in music or entertainment industry. Hopefully now you have a more clear idea of whether you should switch your career and how to get started. Please comment below to let me know what else you would like to know, such as resume tips, interview tips, how I got my job offers, how I switched from internship from a full time, or how my life looks like as a business analyst at a Fortune 50 company. See you next time.